Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to solve an interesting equation. The square root of m times. The square root of m times. The square root of m equals 5. Now, by squaring both sides, we can write the square of the square root of m and times, the square root of m times the square root of m which equals 5 squared. The square root and the square will cancel each other out, leaving us with m times the square root of m times the square root of m, which equals 5 squared. By squaring both sides again, we get the square of m times the square root of m times the square root of m which equals 5 squared all squared. Now, simplifying this, we get m squared times m times the square root of m, which equals 5 to the power of 4. Finally, squaring both sides, we can write the square of m squared times m times the square root of m, which equals 5 to the power of 4, all squared. Simplifying this, we get m to the power of 4 times m squared times m, which equals 5 to the power of 8. Applying the law of exponents, we can write m to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 5 to the power of 8. So, we get m to the power of 7 equals 5 to the power of 8. Now, taking the seventh root of both sides, we can write the seventh root of m to the power of 7 equals the seventh root of 5 to the power of 8. The seventh root is the same as raising to the power of 1 over 7. So we get m to the power of 7 all raised to the power of 1 over 7 equals 5 to the power of 8. All raised to the power of 1 over 7. Simplifying this, we get m to the power of 7 over 7 equals 5 to the power of 8 over 7. Therefore, the value of m equals 5 to the power of 8 over 7 and the approximate value is 6.2925. And that is our solution. Hold on. There's one more challenge waiting for you. Can you figure out the value of the square root of m times the square root of m equals f? Drop your answer in the comments below. I'd love to see who gets it right. Thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. Until next time, bye-bye.